As Jeremy Hunt makes the final tweaks to his budget amongst growing pressure to cut taxes, the Welsh Government this week laid down its final figures for the financial year ahead. I've been speaking to the Finance Minister to find out how she balanced the books. Welcome to Politics Wales. I'm Tulare Glynn-Jones, also coming up on the programme. Borada, good morning. The Welsh Government's budget laid this, week's, laid this week has been described as the starkest and most painful budget since devolution, with public services being cut and concerns over a raise in council tax, there's no doubt that we'll all feel the pinch. As the UK Government prepares to announce its financial plans this week, I spoke to the Welsh Government's Finance Minister, Rebecca Evans, earlier this morning and started by asking her what she was hoping for from this UK budget. In, um, some uh, reports this morning in the papers about productivity. Um, the, the Treasury has released a, uh, a press release overnight saying that they're going to be um, focusing or, or investing in into the budget. So I appreciate, of course, local governments facing really tough choices. Now, the UK's COVID inquiry got underway in Cardiff this week as evidence was heard to determine how Wales responded to the pandemic. With more than 12,000 people losing their lives to COVID since the pandemic was declared in March 2020, there are plenty of people looking for answers. Joining me now is Anna Louise Marshries. They say that no decisions were made over WhatsApp. Um, I wondered what you made of what you know, one note stuck out to me in, in terms of hospitals and the way it was being dealt with in hospitals was what Vaughan, the note that Vaughan Gething sent to himself um, about a consultant at where we believe is the Prince Charles Hospital in Merthyr Tydfil. Um, it talks about chaos in the hospital, no protection for nurses. We've run out of time. Anna Louise Marshries, thank you so much for your time this morning. This week, the protests by farmers against the Welsh Government's sustainable farming scheme reached a crescendo as thousands congregated on the steps of the Seneb to voice their concerns. The Welsh Government says it's listening and changes will be made. But where does that leave the policy now and what does it mean for Wales's next First Minister, who will of course be appointed in two weeks' time? Right then, on now to... We're a nation of pet lovers, with just over half of households in Wales owning a pet. But a new bill which will make stealing a cat or a dog in England and Northern Ireland a specific criminal offence will not apply in Wales. There are now calls for the Welsh Government to follow suit. Sanjana Idnani reports. Sanjana Idnani reporting there. And that is it for this week. My thanks to my guests and, of course, as always, to you for watching. And if you'd like to get in touch, the email address is bbc.politicswales at bbc.co.uk. I'll be back next Sunday at 10.